Greyhounds are usually associated with racing, but they also make great pets. We wanted to find out more about how to adopt one and where they typically go once their racing days are over. Wisconsin Greyhound Pets of America is an organization dedicated to helping people better understand this largely misunderstood breed and to help transition these beautiful dogs from the track to a new home. Greyhound Pets of America Wisconsin was started about 20 years ago by a veterinarian named Dr. Rebecca McCracken. Greyhound racing was relatively new at that time in the state and as we got racetracks the need emerged to help find these guys homes. The organization has been in existence for about 20 years and we adopt out approximately 125 to 150 dogs each year. Most of the dogs we get are between two and four years old as they get retired. They either just slow down, some of them have injuries, some of them are just never good enough to race to start with, so they have very short careers. Uh, we do start off with our dogs in a kennel environment. We get to know their personalities a little bit. As they get selected for adoption, we try to move them into foster homes for a week or two before they get adopted and work on basic house manners, house training. Uh, greyhounds generally aim to please, so they train very nicely. They usually aren't very stubborn, generally speaking, so that's good, and they really adapt nicely. The first step of the adoption process is to complete an application. We also do a home visit, which helps us get to know the families better and helps us match them up with the right dogs that we have in our program at that time. This is Carrie and Thrilla, and these are two of our greyhounds that are currently available for adoption. Thrilla is only two years old, so he just wasn't good enough to be a very good racer. Carrie is about four and a half years old, so she apparently did run for a couple of good years, and now it's time to take a break and relax. Retired greyhounds actually make very good pets. People tend to think they're hyperactive because they were racers, but they ran roughly a 30 second race every three days. The joke is, is that they're the 45 mile per hour couch potato. They really just want to hang out with you. GPA is a nonprofit organization that relies heavily on donations. We also do have a few fundraisers where we raise money to do this, but on average we do lose money on every adoption, so it is a struggle and we are fortunate to have a lot of supporters. Hi, I'm Jackie Luheis, pet reporter for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Many pets lose their homes when landlords and pet owners disagree. But you can keep your landlord pet happy. Make sure your landlord knows when you bring a new pet into the unit. You may have to pay a pet deposit. Make sure your animal stays quiet during the day when it's alone. And always, always pick up after your pet. For more tips, visit Animal Magnetism, my pet blog at www.jsonline.com. Anthropologist Margaret Mead once said, one of the most dangerous things that can happen to a child is to kill or torture an animal and get away with it. Plenty of research has documented the link between animal abuse and domestic violence. Right here in Wisconsin, battered women revealed that in four out of five cases, abusive partners had also been violent towards pets or livestock. In a study done by the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, 85.4% of women and 63% of children reported incidents of pet abuse when they came to domestic violence shelters. Serious crimes including drug offenses, sexual assault, gang activity, weapons violations and domestic violence are often seen in association with intentional animal abuse. It tends to be the most visible part of a history of aggressive or antisocial behavior. Our vision at Animal Fairy Charities is to become a premier organization teaching compassion to young children by way of animals through education, experience, and leadership. Currently, we are encouraging parents to teach their children compassion at an early age through our Animal Fairy Educational Children's Book Series, including our first book, The Legend of the Animal Fairy. In addition, we are implementing hands-on interactive programs where parents and children can learn together the importance of compassion through interaction with and caring for animals. You can help support our mission by purchasing our first children's book, The Legend of the Animal Fairy. Proceeds will help fund our mission to perpetuate a generation of compassionate children and a world without abuse. Thanks for watching today. Economic times are hard, and shelters are being inundated with pets that people feel they can no longer care for. In turn, shelters are struggling, not only with the overwhelming number of animals, but with the rising costs of food, shelter, and medical care required for their care. Now more than ever, these animals and shelters need your help. 
Call 262-989-0604 or visit animalfairycharities.org today. Today's show was brought to you by Central Bark Doggy Daycare. Better days, better dogs. Fetch Magazine and by Caesars Pet. Quality gifts for pets and their people.